How you doing? I'm Greg from Wanamaker Hardware. Just here to talk to you about rakes tonight. The biggest question I get is which rake should I use to rake up the leaves? And quite frankly, I believe it's your preference. I think there's a good rake for individual reasons. So I'll take this small poly shrub rake for instance and this is good to rake all the leaves in beds in between tight areas and I think the spring rake would be better for on top of mulched areas in narrow spaces therefore you're not raking the leaves and sticks inside the mulch so that's always a good rake to use for that purpose and here is a 24 inch poly rake with a nice soft grip to try to keep those calluses down from our hands and you simply want to break all the leaves into a pile as we know and if you want to try to do a quicker job you can go with a bigger and wider 30 inch rake the big boy really gets everything into a big pile makes the job a lot quicker Another rake is the spring rake, which I would prefer using towards the end of raking up the leaves and going around and picking up all the small sticks and making your lawn as neat as possible and thatching it out, getting it ready for seeding. Once you have all the leaves in a big pile, you're going to want to get your compost bags sold five to a pack they are two ply wet strength made from biodegradable paper and it's ideal for composting you can collect grass clippings, leaves, weeds, garden waste and small branches to put out to the curb and the town will pick them up an easier way to pick the leaves up and to put them in the bag is a few different methods and that is using these leaf scoops to make a make your hands much wider and get a bigger scoop and the job done quicker now we've all been there where we picked up a bunch of leaves and put them into the bag and the bag collapsed down um, what they have made for us to make it easier are these leaf funnels. This is a plastic rigid leaf funnel which you would insert into the bag as this picture is showing you. And a nice wide rim so as you're throwing the leaves in you can get as many in as possible in a again a quicker time. They also have a collapsible leaf funnel which is on a spring Therefore, it's good to store away and won't take up too much space in your shed or wherever it, you may keep it. But if you choose to have the rigid lawn funnel and it takes up a lot of space, you can utilize it by putting some garden tools in to rest, as I do. If you have any questions, come down and want to make a hardware and ask. Greg or any other guys and we'll be more than happy to help you. Mm -hmm.